Hello, good morning. Hey, hi, David. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Do you know if uh, Vanny or Samir are uh, someone will join today. He has a con he had a conflict. Uh, so Vani will join roughly two three minutes. Okay. But let's not let's not wait for Vani. We can get okay. started. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. So on the list we have um a. CLI command, I guess I can share off my screen. Okay. Going. Okay, so we have the CLI commands for trust policy management. Um, this should not be an RCU one. That's right. Correct. Yeah, let's. I think we okay. can remove the milestone there. Just put it. Put it on RC two. Right? Yeah. Yep. And this is the estimate I think he was talking about, right? For three weeks. Uh, no, this is not the one. No, uh, it's a different one. It's so different. yeah, yeah. So so this is just was incorrectly put on RC one. We agreed on it being an RC two. So was there a reason why you put it on RC one? Um. I think he was telling that it is on R seven. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. You oh, okay. you actually modified the milestone from discussed to RC one seventeen days ago. And... Oh yeah, yeah. Why? Um... So you're good, right? With the RC two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We can move it to RC two. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Okay, all right, got that one knocked off. Um, okay, so I think this is, so I, um, I cut the RC4 release on Monday and um, the Yi and Finman and team did a bunch of testing. I think everything is all good. Um, the only thing that at least there, desiring and I'm I'm open to your feedback here is there's two PRs here which are for adding some help supports uh, which is uh, this one and this one mm -hmm. and it's I mean it's not necessarily blocking but it's kind of like would be a nice to have if we want to merge it in um, just for usability perspective. So I don't know what are your what are your thoughts on that? I'm fine. We can take a pass today in like next three hours, and yeah, if everything looks good, we can merge them. Otherwise, otherwise, just cut it and be done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right. <laughs> so is it like uh, Pritesh? You have to review that. Like, yeah, I think either, either, either one of us can review it, just mostly updating the com uh, documentation there. Basically, yeah, when you when okay. run a help command, what should be printed on the CLIs. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, sounds good. Um, let's see, so do, 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 uh, I think um, we missed second one. The second one, Kose support, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's just saying like the release notes, we might want to like, uh, you know, you might want to have an update on the, uh, on the sets. So uh, we had a chat with Samir. He might not be able to do it today. So he, uh, either you okay. can take over the work and he can discard his PR. So that works. 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, to me, I don't, I'm, I'm fine if the release notes gets updated after, um, but I'm pretty sure, uh, I'll look real quick here, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that the, the actual, like his commit needs, um, a like DCO unless he fixed it. I don't uh, think okay. he did. Yeah. I, <laughs> So I would just, I mean, honestly, I would just like, um, I mean, either have him just fix, add it in or merge it and then do another PR to update it. I don't really care, but I don't, I'm not going to just redo all, I mean, he did all okay. his work. So I, yeah, sure. I, I, but I'm not going to, but, but regardless, I'm not going to hold the release up just for the release notes. In my yeah. Mind. Yeah. I think we can do a release and then we can, after the release, we can, we can just update the release notes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, let me. Uh, but there is this. another change to this, right? Like last time when we were discussing the TSTP along with COSE was, we thought it is going to be in alpha five, but if it is in alpha four, then that's uh, that's something that came up. Right? Yeah, we need to update release notes. We need to drop just to and just policy and add COSE there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have but that. that can be done after release, so we're not blocking release on that. Somebody can do yeah. it yeah. on pace. Peers, yeah, yeah. By what time, David, uh, you need those PRs to be? Uh, well, so I, I think like, um, I mean, because it's about, those are Finman's PRs and they're, it's like they're, you know, sleeping time right now. Yeah. So exactly. I would just say if, I would just say if we had our feedback in there um, or approvals and I mean, I honestly would just, I just feel like, you know, almost like approving with suggestions. <laughs> Because it's yeah, just like exactly. text things. I mean, because yeah. some help is better than none, you know. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> do you know what yeah. I mean? And then, and then that way we're not blocking them, and then they can just do like the merge them and yeah. then we yeah. cut the release and just be done with it. To by like we wake up tomorrow and then it's, you know, like the there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. So. Merge today. Thirteen. Uh, today is thirteen. Maybe I just yeah. I mean that's the release notes, right? Yeah. 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 Whatever. What? The, I think that's more clear, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so let's see what's uh, in this. No rooms okay. for any confusion to do the release. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, exactly. So then debug option. Um, Shua's team is going to start on that. 
which is there, and then um, okay, so this one. Wait, uh, I think if I read that correctly, the issue debug on the on which is that should we want to update the board or something like that? Do we want to update the roadmap or forgot GitHub project and assign it to Shiva or he? Is that the ask there? I mean, it's assigned to Patrick who's working on it, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it is already assigned. It's already assigned and it's already already at okay. RC1 and cool. he's working on it, so it's all good. Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's just more of a, I think that was just more of a informational. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we're good there. Yeah. Uh, the PR 373. Okay, so this I one. Think yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. We can discard 370 as 370 super seats. 373 super seats, 370. So we can yeah go ahead with 373 and discard 370. But for okay. alpha phi or something, we need to revisit uh, and do the cherry pick, right? Uh, no, nope. uh, I think this contains much more changes than what we have for 370. 370. Mm. Yeah, and they're not much bigger. They like they're just like support, supporting like config and a couple of other small changes. So I think we are good there. Okay. But we still have to take that change after alpha four, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still got, yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta yeah. wait. Yeah, we gotta okay. wait for this till after alpha four. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think so. Right now, though, this this has one approval, but um, I'll just put on here. Uh, community call. My. We. Uh, Probably to close this one in favor of three seventy three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but uh, one question, right, David and Pratesh, like whatever is part of three seventy, how do we come back and not miss it? Well, it's part of three seventy three. 373 supersedes it includes everything from 370 plus extra extra stuff. That's what I understand. So yeah, that's that's my understanding. Yeah. That is that yeah, that we need to clarify once. Yeah. I think yeah, I'd I'd okay, I'll take a look if you give me a minute and I can just confirm. Yeah, can that. You, yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna double check? Um, yeah, we just do okay, check. we can just I can just go to it right now. Um, yeah. do you wanna just that password. Uh, I yep, I will remove this, get a verifier, verify is all verifier, and Yep, I think we have everything which we need. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I I won't close it. <laughs> um. I'll just. I think. Well. I. I yeah. Let. You. You can yeah. close it. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. I would rather. Uh. Rakesh closer. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather. Okay, I like it this. makes sense. I, it makes sense to let Rakesh close it. Yeah, yeah I'm not, I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, so, like, yeah. so, okay. Um, so, okay. So we talked about the CLI help pool, um, alignment of the issues as part of RC1. Yeah, so basically we just uh, went ahead, revisited yesterday, added a couple of items which were missing. The like uh, not missing, we agreed, already agreed upon that, but we just need to assign it to someone to make sure that they are accounted for. Like I just added this yesterday because th some of them were there for implementation of sign and verify, so I just had a bunch of them, and this we can assign them. Do I do it now or which when she was there? Will she be? Yeah. Oh, you, so you're basically saying you just like wants things that are that don't have an assigned person. Yeah, I mean, here. yeah, just okay. just for clarity, like which you, uh, like, which things did you add? I mean, maybe uh, it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom mostly. 
that could clean up another quality. Yeah, uh, implement configuration process and well, this is basically the default signature format. We need to come up with a specification. We don't have it. Then implementing key command, plugin, login, logout. We all, I know he is already working on them. And I think Shiva team will pick that up. If you want, you can just assign them to Shiva. But I didn't want to do it, so I just wanted to consider it before I do that. Like oh, some okay. some of okay. them were already there. For example, implementing notation sign commander was there. Uh, verifier was there, but list login logout we already have a spec there. But there was no clarity. That's what it was. How it is called connected, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there are a couple of to do's in our code base. Uh, when we did oh, the refactoring yeah. of Colgo and Go, yeah, we yeah. left dead code yeah, there. Yeah. So, yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, so that makes yeah, this makes sense. Um, yeah, unit tests. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if there are any to do's, we just we should just revisit any to do's in our code base before we do RC one, just to make sure that they're not important to do's. So this is more about default signature format. We need to write at least. I, I think I have action pending action pending on me there that I need to write like one paragraph about how we want to do a default thing, whether user pass it and we process yeah. the config and how do we want yeah. to with when plugins are yeah. present. So yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, totally. So I have assigned that one to me. Spec I have kept it open. We already have implementation out there. Just, I think I'm not sure whether, where it, what is our state of it. I just keeping it track. Let's open it for tracking here. Okay. I remember. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. So do you want That's to? Cool. So, so what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll, I'll just put it as, uh, cause, uh, you know, like a in the meeting notes. Um, more specifically, because I, I don't, I can't, I don't want to just assign stuff and I don't, you yeah. know, but Yi and, and, and Finman and team, they'll know and be like, oh yeah, we're working on this or that. And then we could come back on probably Monday to, you know, say, oh, we, you know, can someone else maybe pick this up or we yep. pick this up kind of thing, right? Yeah. Like this is what right. I wanted to bring, uh, like build alignment on that. <laughs> yeah, no, it totally makes sense. Yeah. So, um, okay. So, I'll just put this here. Um, I wouldn't say it's estimation. Um, it's more of um, ownership. Yeah. I have also requested payment to let me know when they start doing the release. I'll join. He was payment was like it's your time difference. I told that's fine. We'll just stop. I'll just stop. Pritesh, suddenly your voice uh, is... I don't know if you're oh, speaking, but... Oh, sorry, my bad, yeah. Oh. I, just, uh, I just moved away from microphone, so yeah. Uh, hmm. So I did a couple of more items there. We can discuss whether we want to bring them to RC1 or not. I think we touched base upon them in past. Some of them we agree on. We needed more discussion, but we didn't move them. And they already exist. Some of them already exist in code base. So yeah. One thing. Um, but did you, you mean you just added some more? No, 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 oh, no. So for, for example, if we move to next action item in the agenda, uh, threat model, we should do it. Should we put it in RC1? At least we, should, we need to do an exercise because for notary V1, I think we do have it. For other, we do have like at least a threat model. Yeah, so I, uh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, I think, I mean, this is good to do. Um, I know there's 
been, I mean, I, I, it's been a while since I've looked at the two reports we had on the cozy stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not (laughs) sure if that, that includes that or not. Um, and I know that this wouldn't like, that wouldn't supersede this because this is notation all up, um, not cozy per se. Um, but I guess I'm curious on, I, I mean, for RC1, we want, you know, people to have some stability here. And so I, I just, I, I, would, I would lean more towards this being an RC2 type of thing. So uh, there are two different things. The cozy put is pen test one, external vendor. This threat model is usually done by project maintainers who are actively contributing to code base because they are most aware of it, how functionality works and things like that. Like uh-huh. we have multiple directory structures, configs, how we are storing, which takes priority, registry interactions and things like that. And we might find like even while thinking about how an adversary can attack a notation or yeah. things like that, we can yeah. we figure out an issue on our own. Okay. What if we? I mean, what if we did like a? I mean, an idea I just turn off. But what if we had like a, like a hack day or something, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> like, so what one if... day, like 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 one day where it's just like a, you know, everybody just the you know number of devs just just bang on it. For, yeah. for a while and then that's so, it. I was thinking more of to formalize it also so that we have it here. It might send a good message out to community who is someone's reviewing that we have done our due diligence here. And this is just uh, like a documentation kind of thing, but not the implementation uh, kind of thing. Uh, it's basically uh, no, 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 no. brainstorming. It's like, a, it's, it's like a, yeah, it's like a, uh, like try and like almost like a, like a hack day, like try and. Yeah. Try and try and break into notation type of type of thing. And you documented what your findings and everything, and like you you have covered your uh, ground basically. So I was thinking like we can but split to stop this up. The attack, right? In order to mitigate no. that. So, so basically, is it part of our semen? Like yes. Yeah, so basically, yeah. the, it's a security. We are doing a security product. So if anything goes bad, yeah. it won't yeah. be good for us. So <laughs> for even project itself as community. So I was thinking about like. So we can divide this stuff because like between uh, Shiva and uh, uh, me and basically I was thinking like directory config and registry interactions are done mostly by Shiva team so they can pick that up trust store trust policy and anvabs we can pick that up because like we know most of that stuff so we can write the thread model for that and for directory config and everything Shiva knows most of it okay and in that way like not one team has to do everything so that okay. means like uh, within this uh, issue, there has to be multiple tasks. So at least that way there is clarity who is working on it. Uh, yeah, I did wrote it, but I haven't called it out. Yeah. yeah. So threat modeling is much just more than like doing a hack day, you need to document it. There are like a particular process, how you do it and everything. It's more like a systematic way of doing hack day. Yep. The security, the adversaries can go you know, can be more, we need to scope it. What is it that we are going to mitigate and- uh, We are not going to mitigate. Basically with current, what's the finding, what are the gaps we need to identify? And (laughs) there's like, once you find the gaps, then you mitigate it, right? Correct. But what is the scope, right? Like we do- Complete notation. No, I mean, is it identifying the ad- adversaries and documenting it and also discuss about the mitigation plan and then so, develop it? Okay, right? so, so what how is the scope of it? In threat modeling, you find mitigation itself, which should be in the code. If it's not there, we need to already open the issue and we need to fix it. Exactly. That's that's what it is. So it but, is yeah. part of the scope. If we are yeah. able to... I yeah. mean, if you find any document, then for sure you need to implement, fix it. You cannot do an RC1 without if there's a major issue there. We can discuss exactly. the priority. Okay. That by default becomes a blocker for RC1 then. Uh, exactly. Okay. That's okay. David, are you in? Yeah, I'm, I'm just typing this up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um... How do you maximize this screen from? Kinima, thanks for joining. Uh, 
I think uh, I'm not sure whether it should be split across multiple devs because writing becomes difficult if we do that. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. would just, at least it can be between Shiva team and me for sure. We can pick the area. I think it can be split by areas if you want to go that way. But yes, not across like same area across multiple people because, and we need to agree upon how we want to document and everything. So to answer Vani's question, here is a good read for it, yeah. Okay. Uh, should we mark it as RC one? Uh, mm. I I would love to know the impact. I mean, uh, I mean, because I this feels like I mean, if it's a one day thing, then great. It's, but this kind of is starting to feel like it might. It's be not. More. It's more than one day for sure. Right. So I don't. Know. I mean, I I still. I mean, I think this partially comes back to. So we we have no we have like no timing on what I, our I understand. So what what we can do is yeah, what, what we, people are gonna do, right? Like you know, I mean, I and, and yeah, at least I, yeah. I understand that. What we can do is we can put in RC one and put a note that, that this is the last thing we want to pick it up once we are done with our features, right? Because okay. we can. We can put it right now as milestone as RC1, but we can yeah. it where it goes, right, David? Right. Because I'm worried if we don't do it, then we might be in, if we find something, then it won't be good for the project. I mean, yeah, we can do it RC1 and we can just do it the same week that we can cut the release and we can publish test head model next week also. We can do that, but yeah, we should complete this. At least uh, you're looking for basic vul vulnerabilities. Yeah. Yes, at least basic. So we should, should pass do. through the basic uh, thing. Yeah, I get <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I really think like, I mean, I really think like part of, I mean, we're kind of starting to try and get there, but like part of the thing is just doing more regular releases, you know, like. Makes sense, yep. It's, it's like, because then, then, you know, it doesn't, it's that we don't have such a big weight of like having so much on one milestone and we just fix stuff and move forward. Uh, I completely understand that, yeah. That's like, I just want to keep track of it so that we don't yeah, lose yeah. it that we need to yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, that's cool. I got it. So we're good. I think we're good on this for now. Uh, yeah. the, the next one I yeah. have is, yeah, tag to digest and digest to tag conversions. I think we already support that, but we need some improvement there. I think in the high candy. Um, okay, do you want to just put, um, do you do you want to put Pratesh? I'm just looking at your notes. Do you want to put all those notes just in the update your description? Or do you like because I think everything you had there is 
really useful for what you just wrote on the threat modeling. Sure, I will do that. Uh, I'll just put okay, the cool. link there. Okay, I will, I will add that. Uh, I mean, you literally could probably just copy and paste what you had. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll add that. Okay. Uh, um, so notation set, yeah, tag the digest. I, remember I think one. we already have a code for that, but we need some improvements there. For example, when they always, whenever there is a tag, we want to return digest as output. So like we had a discussion about this based on like there was a there's a fine balance between security and usability there. But if we did talk to our uh, like developer advocate who closely works with customer and say, okay, there is no way we can, a customer will use digest effectively. So we do want to support this. The code already exists. We do support right now tag to di digest conversion. Right. But we need some better things like we need to emit that. So for example, once verification is done, we need to emit what digest was verified, what image digest, so that the user can go and consume yeah. that. Yeah, and and I thought we had a, no, yeah, that makes total sense to me. And I, I thought we had a separate issue on that. Uh, uh, do we have that? Uh, yeah. Let me, yeah, let me, let me look here. Um, Maybe it was not part of our scene. I have not seen that part of our scene. <clears throat> yeah, no, I think it's I think it's in a user experience improvements. Um, And like we've also, when we emit oh, here, 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 yeah, this is it. I think this is it right here. This the one? Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yep. so. And for sign so, also, we want to do that. Yeah, so this is C verify and we have SHA, right? It's like, <laughs> and and then uh, it's, it's so uh, verific is part of the connect image or is against the correct certificate. So verified against the certificate cert name, the OCR artifact. So we might oh, wow. want to uh, format the message in such a way that it can be, it, it's easy to consume them programmatically. Yeah. I'm not sure, like, for example, we what we want to encourage is once you verify tag, please consume digest for future processing. Yeah. So we. Um, yeah. So we want to make sure that the output is also programmatically consumable. Because whatever we decide once here, we cannot make the change, so. Right. Signed and verified slash verified because we want to do it for both. Yeah, I think we have. I think we have this one for for signing. See. Oh, okay. I missed that. Okay. Uh, then we can just mark the story which are pinged up as a parent of both of them. So when you say Pritesh, output is the digest, and uh, we have to programmatically consume it. Which means that once you consume it, uh, are you going to use it to retrieve other information from the registry? Uh, it's I not us. So basically, someone will call this note. Someone will call notation in the Correct. supply chain. Uh, basically, they will like either when they are deploying a containers or something like that. Uh -huh. They usually use open source tooling like OPA or Ratify where which will basically use a tag mostly, but what you want is like in notation, the, the third vector basically here is tags are mutable. So it is quite possible that once you verify a tag, I can go and update the tag to new image. So once, when you verify the signature, the tag was pointing to old image, but once you, when you're actually pulling the signature, the, the tag is now pointing to a new image. So we want to avoid that you so, you want so the other, so the other thing, um, and this, and this is like a tangent issue, which I don't think we necessarily have 
file, but the whole multi arc architecture side of things. Yeah. Um, like if you have, you know, if you have ARM 64 and Linux and all those other ones, like which one are you going to sign? <laughs> That's true. So I think we can sign the manifest of that also. I'm not sure what's the called. You know, it's not image manifest. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll file that one separate. I mean, sure. I think that for this one, I mean, it, it just to try and keep things simpler, um, if we can um, just scope them to that. So I, I think the only thing is this is this is this still open? So signing and verifying tag references because we okay because this looks like it's more. Uh, let's see, notation sign and verify. Yeah, same. Yeah, sign to attack to digest translation and things like that. We are already doing that. We just want to some face more information. But is it not yeah, necessary? Yeah, because this one, I mean, this one's already done, right? I mean, this so, is uh, okay. Fun. To add some context here, earlier we were thinking of dropping this support because of security issue. Uh, but now, like after listening to multiple customers, I think Steve was strongly advocating about this one. And then we also went ahead and talked to multiple customers yep. that like our device had uh, developed. Yeah, they're there. not going to want to try and do the yeah. translation. So, yeah. Yeah. So, the other way is like pass us the tag, we will emit what we verified. But it's not the great model, but yeah. But yeah, that's what everybody expects. I mean, yeah. It's... Yeah, I think the main thing is you have the ability to check what was signed, which is what we have in the UX improvements. But I mean, we're already doing this today, right? So should I just go ahead and close this out? This uh, yes, if you're already, yep, you can you can close that out. Okay. And we already have the other one which tracks the usability. And if we are not doing that, we cannot be closed anywhere. So is there anywhere documented that when you when you consume the digest, what in what it is going to be used for, or am I missing something? Uh, I didn't got that. Like so, when for signing, we will use the digest to resolve to a sorry. The tag you. Oh, yeah, oh. when you sign for signing, we will resolve a tag to digest oh. internally in notation. Correct. Oh. And that what we sign. So this one is different though. Uh, but, well, at least for verifying. Yeah. No, you so, still. Yeah, for verifying, you. I guess it's the same thing. It still does. Same thing. Yeah. yeah, it's same thing. We just want to make sure it's happening, and I think you already have an issue for sign and verify, which is about usability improvement. Right. If we can. I think. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this is like these. This one's also closed, right? But I think the thing that's missing is the UX part to let people know what was signed. Yeah, I think if we have UX open, you can just put the UX link here and close this. We don't want multiple issues to track same thing. It, as of now, it feels like the previous issue and this issue looks the same. Yeah, and... Already compared. Okay, so, so the thing that I'll do here is... Um, is is just update the U the, this to include the UX improvements, right? The yep. two UX ones. So that's this one. Can, can you move that to RC one also? I think that it's in discuss tab, and we, we might want to move to RC one to track that. Uh, this one. The, no, the yeah, open the discussed. UX improvement. Yeah. 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 This. Yeah. Um. So this puts the, this in out of discuss to RC1, because this is pretty fundamental, I think, as well, because people yeah. are, they need to know what the heck am I signing. So, yeah. So yeah, it was initially this is a security Very concern, fun. which is still there, but yeah, I mean, if people are like not going to use it and they're not, then they, yeah, I mean, we need to compromise on usability here. Right, yep. Although we do, we will still continue to provide the digest option there, but I will support tag also. Which, which we already do, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna update this. Um, so let me come back to this. Um, uh, converting this um, 
community call today. Converting this to implementing the UX. to this this and type this translation for sign and verify okay thank you then this translation however people have no confirmation of this signed or verified and also we might want to update our documentation here because most of our documentation says digest but i think we can just add it to the documentation yeah Ritesh, that that's exactly what i was asking for when i asked you about the oh, okay yeah we need to we might have to go and check our documentation i can add it as a part i can comment on the summary which you yeah i can add i can add a, a little task item on it um It looks like CV already had a comment on script friendly. Yeah. I'll just I'll just for now put it as a as a item. Yeah. As a task for document. Uh, for I, it may already be reflected in other places, like because she because uh, I know like Yi for instance has a bunch of CLI specs out, right? So it's like I think I, yeah. I, Sure, people are, are aware they can. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I think we're good there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Close this out. Yeah. Next one. Uh, local keys. Uh, I think yeah, if we, we can close that and we can talk about that. Uh, local key signing. I mean, uh, the position we are in is really bad. Somehow we support it and somehow we call it, we don't support it. <laughs> um yeah this one ties let's see yeah local key yeah uh, so basically the, uh, to summarize what uh, the issue here earlier was i think this the specification to encrypt key is deprecated the old one which is supported by go and there's no good replacement out there for and like encryption decryption of local keys so we did punch it for alpha three and we didn't finalize on that. Yeah. So this ties so this one ties to the to the local like sign experience as well. I know it's not the same thing, but the local yeah. right now we with the generate tester whatever, we support a local a local Yeah, that, that's that's what I'm saying. We are in bad state there. <laughs> we do support it and we call it we don't support it. So my take is there is either we can have a custom encryption format. We can discuss with Roy and Shiva here when in Monday's call. Uh, we can have a custom format and encrypt and decrypt using those, which which will stop compatibility with open access to other commands. Or we can use the existing deprecated ones until there's a new replacement. I mean, we can talk about that in the in Monday's call if Shiva and Roy will join. Because we can we can comment that here, right, Pritesh? Um, yes. You can add that comment in that story. I think. Okay, let, let me update well, that. Yeah, because yeah. the other because the other thing too. Yeah, I mean, this relates to an item that is really like top of mind for for me anyway, and I've just, <laughs> it keeps coming up in like customer conversations and yeah. Other is is the is the offline general the bigger story of offline support? 
Um, and yeah, I agree that we don't want to make it like lock vendor lock in here. Like, is this only you can only support it vendor notation? Right, vendor exactly. Notation. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're great as long as you know you 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 have a vendor uh, to to do a plugin. That's not a really good story. Yeah, and it really it really limits you as well in terms of like CI CD, bunch of other stuff. Um, so uh, I think this is I think so. yeah. So this is the one that um, the same that I've commented on a number of times, and I think that, yeah, this links to I yeah. Think I think the blocker this, was what we want to do here. So let me. Looks like this one isn't linked. Um, it's awesome. I want to get all these. I want to get all these linked together because there should be the ability to do. Yeah, there should be the ability to do all of this in a like air gap kind of mode, including the key. Yeah. But is this part sure. of RC two, not RC? Yes. Okay. And yeah, that's <laughs> what I want to do. What do we want to do about it as a community here? It's like. Right now, when I was looking at reviewing the code, reviewing the specs, they're like, oh, we do have at test command. We do specify signing with that. It means anyone can go and use their local keys. So and sign, sign it. Yeah, I mean, we technically support it, but we say we don't support it. Yeah, it's not very, it's pretty murky right now. So, this is, I mean, this is really important that we get this ironed yeah, out. I think let's, I will put this as an agenda for Monday's meeting when Shiva and Roy are here. Yeah. Cool, let's do that. Uh, I mean, I would, I mean, I, yeah, because there's, I know there was, I remember a while back there was issues with like the local encryption Golang thing and that's what blocked us on it from before. Yeah. Um, and, and and that's why we kind of are like, well, it's test demo. And the only reason we didn't want to support it is because of the crypto library Golang yep. stuff. That's the correct, and, yeah. and so it's like, okay, I, I mean, we need to, we can't sit there in that mode forever. We have to do something yep. to, yeah. I think we can. So I, yeah. So I would. Yeah. I think this is something. I. I mean, to me, this is. Yeah. Top of mind. Um. I would love to see it in RC one, but I know that's probably a lot of work. Um, yeah. So again, I don't know. I like I said. I think I even commented down below. Is like, a comment on this. Um. I'll, yeah. Maybe, like, they, I mean, I don't. Yeah. I, I. I mean, to me, this is like kind of like like a high, high priority after RC1 if it doesn't go down RC1. Yeah, like, I, I agree that we should think about it. It's like, if we can get in RC1, well and good. If we cannot, let's push it out to RC2, which is fine, but actually fast follow up. We can and see, we can, uh, we can, uh, David, uh, what is your RC1 uh, like based on your uh, thing? What do you think the date looks like for RC1? According to you, what do you think should be the date around RC1? Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is, this is where we, I mean, it'd be good to like, you know, talk about, about that. I, I, I think that it kind of ties back into the to broader question of, I, I think we're moving towards like a better, like cadence of things, but I, I really feel like what I would love to see is us actually do like a proper, like sprint planning of sorts, like whether it's two weeks or a month and just have yeah. like an expectation that we're going to release whatever's there every like so often yeah. and, and try and like scope our end to end stories, like within those bounds, whether it's two weeks or let's say a month. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and then like actually scope what is coming. Right. Because I think yeah. I, it feels like a lot of what we're doing is we're just tackling this massive list and, and some of those things like don't really correlate. And I, and I would love to just kind of say like, if we do a sprint plan and then we say, what is, what is the user value we're going to deliver in the sprint? And then us, and then us like agree on that and just try and deliver that and, and not have it be like this, like crazy huge list, which is what we've been doing yeah. since I started on the project. I think I, I agree there. Let's, I think we can schedule some meeting yeah. there and sit on the prior, like what, what can be discussed in timeline for each of the tasks and ownership of the tasks so that we can come up with a better timeline here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I think it's, it's like, you know, just, just getting in that rhythm, I think would be really helpful for everybody. Um, and and like, you know, we, let's, let's just say we do two week sprints. Um, you know, yep. if, if we don't, if we don't quite make a hundred percent of the list, we get 80%. I, I, 
I think it's okay. Um, I, I would rather just, you know, as long as we don't leave things in a totally broken state um, after two weeks, right? Like, <laughs> you I know, agree. like, 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 that's fine. Like, there's probably, you know, the hope is that you've scoped things low enough to where you've at least added some additional value, right? Maybe some bug fixes or one new feature. Yeah. Um, and then, and then you just, you know, get, you know, do the same thing over and over again. That's, I mean, that's the way I've always done, you know, <laughs> things. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 That's where I was going. Like maybe on Monday, at least we can plan for the one spring, uh, right? And we can see what the British. I would say, let's not pick a Monday. We might have some technical discussions for Monday, yeah. open PRs. Yeah. Can we schedule some other time for that? Okay. Either, Maybe 15 minutes, just 15 minutes, you know, after I mean, the either, it, you, David, we, and Sami can sync offline or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I, think, nice. I think it would that's be good nice. to have a separate, a separate sync. I mean, if we can, if we can involve like, um, I, cause I, cause there's, there's the, the, right now we have this looming, like, okay, theoretical alpha five, whatever we're calling it. Um, and then we also have the RC one, which, I feel like we need to kind of flush out a little more of the timelines in the backlog because if we look at um, we look at RC one right now, like there's a lot of stuff here which is like done or you know uh, oh, like yeah like 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 there's a lot of stuff that's done that we kind of probably already shipped in like in, in alpha four and so yeah you know like it, it it's it's like kind of a bit of a mess and I I, I think it's for, for me to answer the question of when do we think RC one's there, I I, I don't know um, <laughs> because we've got all of this stuff here, and and I also know that um, Shiwei's team has been like operating in this Dev RC one branch for quite a while, right? Yeah. And yeah. so because they kind of had to because they can't wait to make progress on all the like all the reviews, especially with all the cozy support, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to like like core like coalesce on you know, what, where we're at um, and, and go from there. I mean, this, this is technically done, right? And so it's also like some grooming work that needs to happen, right? Like, like cozy assigning support. I mean, it's technically now merged across the board, right? Um, so I, yeah, I mean, like, like this, I think we can close. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, we need to close a couple of things. That's what I was like. We want to sync up on that RC1 not done table. Then we can go over it and even where we can just leave it in what is closed, what is done, what is pending here, and pick an owner. A lot, so lot of things are closed actually. I'm checking on Cozy. There's one that's pending, but most of it is closed. So we need Yeah, like this. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, uh, let's. I think Wally, we can schedule some time and go over that. Okay, yeah, no worries. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had one more thing that I'll discuss. We only have three minutes there. Documentation about the website and everything. If okay. we're doing an if we're doing an RC1 launch, will we get? I think earlier we got Nate from CNCF for updating the documentation. Will that be a possibility, or it's on? Uh, I don't know if we can get Nate or not. I know we had, we got support on our side. Um, we had, I don't know if you saw, but we had the, like a pre yeah. PR overhaul stuff, which I think is really much needed, but it's not fully done. Um, the other, the other thing that we need to do is go back and like, actually, um, I believe we should move a lot of the documents, um, that got put into the website, like just remove them from the other repo. Yeah. Uh, because like, like there's specs and other stuff that are there that got moved, which is great, but we don't want it in two places. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you look at the notary website, um, there's also like, you know, some like under the docs, right. Like there's this like tutorials yeah. blank, right. How to guides is blank. Mm -hmm. Um, so we either need to like get rid of these empty ones or put some stuff in there, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I, I was also wondering if we can get Nate, it would be easy for us to do it. If we not, then we do like finalize that for RC1 also, at least post RC1 or nearby RC1 time, we need to finalize that also. So like, do we want to track it as an issue for RC1 or how we want to do it? 
Yeah, no, we definitely need to have an RC1 um, thing. I, I think... Uh, we... So we do have multiple open yeah, items for documentation. Do we want to just consider it in the one and track that as for the RC1? Because yeah, I'm assuming should. it would be roughly two weeks of work if we want to do it by ourselves at least. By like we'll do two to three weeks of work for one person if you want to do it by ourselves, like overhauling complete website and everything and doc bringing up the documentation. So it's a substantial chunk of work there. Yeah. And we also, I mean, it could be nice, uh, nice if somebody like <laughs> goes through the all of the the Notary Project web website. <laughs> yeah there's like items because there's a bunch there's a bunch here that is like not no longer really valid right um, yeah so that was but, but yeah at a minimum i think i think there's like a pat like you said i think we should have a um like a user story for uh maybe i can just do it just now and just tie it in here but let's like um so i have following one like PR yeah. 16 is for I'm dating landing page and everything. Oh, you already have another one? No, so uh, me, no, I, I, I know. There. So, a, there, so these are the all issues. There are multiple issues there. <laughs> which have, tracks for have. documentation here. I just like, I just pinged on this uh, Zoom chat, all the multiple issues we have. We might want to just track it under one for documentation complete the sub issues there. There are multiple, um, multiple you're issues. saying so this is these those issues that you have is are these in the other directories or are those that's a good point oh, oh the landing page oh i see right there rc1 okay yeah that's yeah, there are multiple issues in rc1 for documentation we just might want to consolidate them under one and add other ones and if we can get Nate and get Nate from cncf that would be great would it be still should we follow up with Steve on that uh yeah i mean i don't have the context with nate um, oh, okay so, so i don't know like uh if you do then cool we could ask i don't know if that's uh, we don't have it it's like steve was the one yeah so if steve okay. is will steve be joining the next call i think i don't know he's kind of i'm, I'm basically between me and year I'm, I'm basically just saying for him to come in but i can ping him and just see if... okay yeah if if Nate is a possibility at all, um, but I, I do think we might be able to get our our doc person Zach to help. Um, okay. A little bit, but because uh, he already did a bunch though, so I don't mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, but I, I I do know like some of this stuff is like us probably needing to refine what we want. Um more than what's maybe what's in here right because I, I think let's see like i think most of like this one like this one for instance it's like um okay well right so like this doesn't have an answer right okay this is here but what do we yeah. want and that's and that's the problem right and so it's like the same thing with whether it's nate or whether it's zach it's like what is it that we want him to do you know like update landing page he's got all these questions and so if we assign this to Zach today, he's going to be like, well, what do you want? Right. Mm -hmm. So it, it really, I think, takes us to do a pass on that first, even if someone else is doing the work. Yeah, I, I agree there. I think let's discuss. I think we're already over three minutes. I have a conflict also. Okay. Uh, can, can we just move this to Monday's discussion and we can ask Steve to join also? Okay. okay. I will, yeah, I will ping Steve also. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Thank I will you. Drop. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.